Politics has gotten too bitter, Democrats and Republicans. Politics has gotten too personal. It, it just is. It's just not like it was. And by the way, I served in times when we had very, very staunch, staunch differences. I mean, there are incredible differences. But we always, uh, not always, but the vast majority of the time, we looked out for a compromise when the end of the, when the, end of the day came. We have a, a, a lot to do together. The thing that makes me feel good about having the governors here is there's still the tradition of doing things together. We fight like hell. We make sure that we get our points across. But at the end of the day, we know who we work for. The objective is to get things done. Mr. President, um, you and I are both up for re-election this year. We belong to different parties. Uh, the political playbook says that I should not be doing this, toasting the President of the United States from a different party. Um, maybe it's mutually assured destruction tonight. So that the, but, but here's, my, here's what, what I want to say, and this is, this, I think this is very important. Um, this organization, the National Governors Association, represents the very best of America. Um, it's, it's, it harkens back to another time, another era, when we did work together across partisan lines, where there was no political danger in appearing with someone from the other side of the aisle. And we have to keep this. We have to maintain this. We cannot lose this. We are the, w one of the last vestiges of another time, but we are also the beginning of a better time. I believe that. Here's to possibilities. Possibilities because they're so, I have never been more optimistic in my life about the prospects, what we can do if we just work together. There's nothing beyond our capacity. So again, to possibilities. possibilities.